airlines in the Middle East are expected to return to profit this year, and that's according to the latest outlook from IATA. And carriers across the region are hoping to take advantage of the growing demand for air travel. In North Africa, Egypt Air, the country's largest carrier, has suffered significant losses during the pandemic. Its revenue fell nearly by half in one year, from $1 billion between 2019 and 2020 to just over $580 million the following year. It is a big blow for the country's aviation sector, which contributed $14 billion to the country's GDP, according to a 2020 report by the Air Transport Action Group. Today, as passenger demand increases globally, the state-owned airline is looking to recover and ramp up its operations. I sat down with Yeha Zakaria, Chairman and CEO of Egypt Air. For the last two quarters, we offered like 7 million seats, which is very good for the regions that we are flying in. We have a plan in the future to increase the destinations. So we are flying to about uh, 69 or 68 destinations. We are looking to increase it up to 111 or 110. Actually, we are uh, using, we are flying to 1,200 airports uh, in the whole world through the direct origin to destinations and through the co-chairs. So your seats are full right now. It's uh, what, what's no, no, the, the low track, uh, like 80s or 80s, something close to 80s, so which is good. There's been a lot of talk about whether you need to privatize or whether you're going to privatize. No, we are not going to privatize. We are not going. We still, we're still saying that uh, the Egypt is the flag carrier. So yeah. that's why this is the only bird that uh, carries the flag of Egypt and uh, and flying all over the world. So we keep. We keep saying that a uh, flag carrier is not for sale. Well, even with your positive outlook and increased demand, do you need a cash injection right now to uh, carry on with your operations? Because I know you're focusing on improving your fleet. Yes, we are working on it. We are taking care. We know, actually, we can see the current, our current locations between the other competitors or, yeah. or the other airlines in the regions. And uh, we have uh, we, we already allocated some money to refurbish the old airplanes that we have because you know the market now recovery is very tough everybody needs airplanes so the airplanes when you are talking if we are talking about order airplanes now we will not receive it before two years yeah the order books are yes. just you know yes. just so, complete there's a huge backlog so you yeah. want to refurbish your yes, existing some of fleet. the old airplanes that we have yeah. and actually we are receiving new airplanes we we, we will going to receive the two Dreamliners soon, and uh, we start receiving the 321 Neus, the new one, mm -hmm. and uh, we will, uh, by the end of this year, so we're going to have like seven more new airplanes, new 321 Neus. It's a challenge. So, so what's, challenge. what is worrying you? Is it the financial element that's worrying you right now? You've got to get your finances in order. No, no, it's not a finance, but the competition is very tough. And the situations in the world, it is, you know, every day you have something new. You had a COVID, then you have a, a Russian-Ukraine Ukraine war. So the environmental is not, you know, balanced. Mm. Um, in terms of cargo, that's been also one of the most important part of your businesses. And you've just restarted your route to China. Everybody is now heading to China because uh, there is a lot of potentials at China, especially the trading and tourists start to to go flying out China to different destinations. So we had alliance from uh, Cairo to Guangzhou, which is the capital of trade, you know, at yeah. China. Thanks so much for joining us on this edition of Marketplace Middle East. If you want to take a look at more of the stories we cover on the program, you can check out our website. From me, Eleni Jokos, here in Doha, Qatar, I'll see you next time.